Here it is, the latest sixth generation fighter from the United States that we've been waiting to be unveiled. A deadly, modern, and untouchable fighter. So, let me introduce the newest addition to the U.S. Air Force, the F-47 from Boeing. As you've heard in the news, Donald Trump awarded the contract to build the world's most advanced sixth-generation fighter to the giant Boeing company. The plan is for the strongest Air Force in the world to have an absolute masterpiece in its arsenal. And chances are, you didn't know that it has been flying and undergoing rigorous testing for five years already. Well, folks. It's now the United States' turn to unveil its sixth-generation fighter for its supporters. Just like Russia with the MiG-41, China with the White Emperor, Japan with the Mitsubishi FX, and Europeans with Tempest, all of whom have announced their developments of sixth-generation fighters, recently Mr. Trump handed over the contract for this new sky-dominating beast to Boeing. Interestingly, Lockheed Martin, another American defense giant, was also very eager to secure the contract to build the new American fighter. But fortunately, or unfortunately, Boeing came out on top. You probably know that Boeing has built masterpieces for the U.S. Air Force in past decades, like the F-18 Hornet, F-15 Eagle, the B-52 Bomber, and helicopters like the Apache and Chinook, among many other products that still form the backbone of the U.S. military forces today. On the other hand, Lockheed Martin is also one of the top five defense contractors in the U.S., having designed and built masterpieces like the F-22 Raptor, F-35, C-130, Hercules, and many other products. Interestingly, Northrop Grumman was also in this competition, the company that designed and built the legendary F-14. But it seems they stepped back voluntarily to focus on developing the latest stealth bomber for America and the world, the B-21 Raider. You might not know this, but the development of America's sixth-generation project, the F-47, had started under President Joe Biden. However, due to the extremely high costs and Biden's reluctance, the project had stalled. But with direct orders from Trump, alongside the Secretary of Defense and the commander of the U.S. Air Force, the project has restarted. The initial cost of the project is estimated at $220 billion, which will likely increase further down the line. Military experts predict that the price per unit of the F-47, considering its advanced technology, will likely fall somewhere between the F-22 and the F-35. This fighter will have a manned variant and will likely also operate unmanned with a high degree of autonomy in the skies. The most advanced artificial intelligence will be integrated into every component and cell of the F-47. Its electronic warfare systems will be state-of-the-art, and its sensors will be highly advanced and sensitive, offering pilots unparalleled situational awareness and numerous capabilities on the battlefield. With modern technologies, the features of the F-47 will be impressive. This advanced sixth-generation fighter is set to replace the F-22 Raptor, a piece of news that has deeply disappointed fans of the F-22. With both Russia and China developing their own sixth-generation fighters, there's a possibility they could surpass the F-22 once unveiled. For this reason, if Americans don't want to fall behind, they are obligated to develop their own sixth-generation fighter. The world is defined by military competition, and falling just one step behind means being pressured relentlessly. So, let's dive into the features of the U.S.'s sixth-generation fighter, the F-47. It's said that this fighter will be hypersonic, without vertical stabilizers or with very small ones, making it exceptionally stealthy. It's claimed to be completely undetectable by any radar or air defense system in the world, essentially like a ghost. The engines of the F-47 will be powerful yet fuel-efficient. Boeing, with its long history of building engines and aircraft, will undoubtedly create something beyond our imagination. Rumors suggest that the F-47 might be single-engine, similar to the F-35. However, it's unclear whether Boeing itself will design the engine or subcontract companies like General Electric or Pratt & Whitney. 
In fact, the F-47 is designed to lead drones on the battlefield, functioning as a command platform akin to an aircraft carrier at sea. The F-47 will take full control of battle management in the skies. The F-47 is more than just a fighter jet. It represents the next leap in aerospace technology, with cutting-edge features that are still in development. With its unmatched agility and advanced weaponry, it's poised to redefine the future of aerial warfare. As the competition heats up globally, the F-47's entry into service will undoubtedly send shockwaves across the world's defense industries. Boeing's strategic win here is just the beginning, and we can expect even more groundbreaking advancements as the project unfolds. President Trump has stated that this fighter will far outclass its sixth-generation rivals in terms of maneuverability and weapon payload capacity. So far, no complete images of the F-47 have been released, so further details about its design remain speculative. Many suggest it may be around the size of the F-22 Raptor, or possibly slightly smaller. It's been announced that the F-47 will have 25 to 50 percent more range than the F-35 which is an attractive feature. The F-47 has been in testing and flying for five years, and it will likely undergo several more years of testing, meaning it could enter service by 2030. Interestingly, the F-22 underwent eight years of intense testing and the F-35 nine years before entering service. But it seems the F-47 will enter service sooner than those two. By winning the contract to develop the F-47 as part of the NGAD program, Boeing stands to make enormous profits. The initial $20 billion contract is just the beginning, and with mass production and long-term support, Boeing could generate hundreds of billions of dollars in revenue in the coming decades. This success will also boost the company's stock value, strengthen its position in the defense industry, and enhance Boeing's ability to attract future projects. Furthermore, mastering cutting-edge sixth-generation technologies such as Artificial intelligence, laser weapons, and unmanned combat systems will give Boeing a competitive edge globally. Following the victory in this contract, Boeing has announced a major celebration at its headquarters in St. Louis, Missouri. Interestingly, after this announcement, Boeing's stock increased by 5%, while Lockheed Martin's stock fell by 7%. Folks, it's nearly impossible for more information about this fighter to leak, given that details are classified and confidential. The main reason for this secrecy is likely that China would quickly copy it if they got hold of the data. In any case, the U.S. has now joined the official developers of sixth-generation fighters, and we'll have to wait and see which one will outperform the others once these fighters are unveiled. Friends, the competition is incredibly tight, and engineers from each country must pour everything they have into these fighters. Thank you for staying with me until the end of the video. I'd be happy if you left your thoughts about the video in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Thanks.